Go hands up high. Okay? Hands up high. And hold you in. Blood, blood, black, and then come back. Blood, black, and then come back. All right? Blood, black, and then come back. Let's do it. Well, that's what you'd expect to hear him say. A lot of guys come back, just come back. Now let's see if he's got the intestinal fortitude, the ability, the desire, and if he's trained hard enough to be able to come back. I believe he's trained hard enough, but I don't think he can do it. Not as long as you've been hitting like this. I think it's too many head blows tonight. Manny has imposed his will throughout the course of this fight. And he continues to do it into the early going here in round 10. Telling Gina, let me fight, will you? Light tapping now by Manny. He's trying to line up something heavy with that left hand. I love his movement, Larry. He's sliding by all the time. Turning, turning, turning this guy. Uh, this is a, a whoa. This is a reminder of how much Manny Pacquiao changed when he became king of the world but when he first came to these shores 12 years ago and was just uh, a puncher trying to get a stick through there but no damage And he might be slightly arm wearing now because he's thrown just a ton of punches. Still playing these in there. Three shots to the head, one of the body. No matter what Brandon does, Manny's got an answer. Yeah. It, you, you get into the mode where you have to defend yourself against it, and so you can't go in offense. Like that. He's got to defend himself. He's got to defend himself. When does he let go? Those executives down the 10th round. Manny Pacquiao making a, a lot of... People in his country very happy at the moment. Well, he's got 100 points now. 100 to 90 at the end of 10. Every single round. Total domination. All the questions that emerged from his last fight with Marquez were very legitimate. Um, and all the answers that he's been able to give against Rios have been uh, just as legitimate. All right, here we go. This is round number 11. Scheduled for 12. It's championship time. And there is a title on the line. It's the WBO International Welterweight title. I put you in line for the WBO World title. But like Larry, you said, the titles don't mean anything to Manny Pacquiao. He's one of the fighters that's beyond belts, beyond the associations. Although Paco Bagasel is going to be pretty happy that he's got a WBO title. It's almost like Brandon's now just in the fight for a moral victory, if you will, to say if he could go the distance because Manny's just outclassing him round after round. Well, sometimes tough guys do extraordinary things at the end of fights. We've seen it before. It certainly doesn't look like that could happen right now. The prize fighters sometimes surprise me in their grit.
It's the great thing about our sport, there's always a chance. Yeah, you can hit a 12 run in the home run, as you say, in yeah. the US, but uh, you don't see it very often. And in all reality, the only hope now is for Rios to get really, really rough as the blood trickles from his left eye. And then there's the other question, how much does this corner want to get beat up anymore in this fight? He's taking a lot of punishment to the head now. I'm being glad to stop this fight. Why uh, he, he, you know, he's blocking those, uh, many of those punches. They're off his gloves. They're grazing and, and uh, they're not letting him put on any offense. He's trying something here. But, uh, I, mean, I don't like a guy getting this many shots in the head. Yeah, uh, he really none, of us, none of us do, but that's, that's what they sign on for. Sneaky short right hand on the inside there as the camera switched. Uh, he land a couple of left hands. Just to remind Manny that he's there. Look at this stuff. Extraordinary. Crowd boos anything that Rios does. And cheers everything that Manny does. Uh, that's what it's like when you have a hometown crowd. Yep. This might just as well be hometown. This is Asia after all. We've had a lot more reasons to cheer tonight. And it's a, it's a big deal for him uh, to, be, to be fighting here in Macau. Um, hasn't been a major international fight uh, since Tyson and Douglas. Before that, Ali and Fraser. Well, we're going to the 12th and final round. And it's scored to my sheet 110 to 99. Notice, Larry, they're saying in the corner, now be smart about it. In other words, don't take too many chances. Unfortunately, that's not the nature of a prize fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, the will be. Kid just getting beaten up. We now go to round 12, the final round! Come on, let's go, let's go, buddy, let's go! Alright, here we go. This is round number 12. We've seen it before when a guy wins every single round, and all of a sudden, he loses the fight. Ask Michael Moore. Not likely scenario. And man, he's totally dominated. Continues to stay up on his toes. Continues to hit this guy. He's not running away from him. He's just using really slick movement in there. When you have two guys that can show defense like this guy in Mayweather, you know, what kind of a fight you could have there? And can it be made, Larry? I think it's a hard one to be made. Um, a Filipino reporter who's covered Manny Pacquiao for many years told me that there are people in Manila who want to make some kind of offer to make the fight that's bigger than big and, then, and bigger than that. But uh, Mayweather, having made upwards of $75 million in his last fight, uh, isn't likely to want to go abroad. Um, where he's never fought. But if he came abroad to this deck of the woods, he actually would have been able to keep 75 million. No, 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 no. No, if you're a U.S. citizen, you got to pay U.S. taxes. All right. Even if you make it here or Siberia. That's true. Don't Pretty we bad. know that. <laughs> Don't we know that. I'm <laughs> doing it around the world. Brandon was cut way back in the sixth round. He is. Uh, Juan has done a nice job preventing the cut from being a factor. You know, he has surrendered. He has acknowledged that he's the second best man in the ring. And uh, just wants to hang around for another minute. Well, he's almost. He, he, uh, came, he came. Show shot. He came, he saw, and he is being conquered. 
cut over the left eye, big swelling on the right eye. That's what it looks like to face Manny Pacquiao, huh? A brilliant yep. job by Manny Pacquiao. No question he's dominated this fight from the get-go. Brilliant offense, brilliant defense. His ability to circle, his ability to stand his toes for four 12 rounds. Rios really can't take much more except the last 25 seconds of the fight. Manny might throw caution in the wind and try and take him out here. Crowd certainly would love to see it. Now they're trying to mix it up a little bit. The crowd is in its frenzy. The crowd is on its feet. This is the showman in Manny Pacquiao. He wants to close the show with the crowd on its feet. The crowd is on its feet. It's all over. Brandon smiles at him. He can't believe what's just happened to him. And Brandon A perfect the shut up. One twenty to one oh eight. Perfect shutout. I want to see any way that that man got any round. You are correct, sir. Well, Larry's going to make his way up into the ring, and uh, we're going to have an interview with the victor, and maybe even the loser. We'll see what the producers say. So while we have a chance. We want to let you know that the Pat Putnam Sommelier of the Year Award goes to Jeff Greer of McSorley's here at the Venetian Hotel. They've certainly looked after us and many of the boxing people throughout the course. So, Jeff Greer, we thank you very, very much for being part of the entertainment here in Macau. Just by being a politician, Manny Pacquiao kept his promises. How often do politicians do that, Colonel? Never. <laughs> Never. And he did, huh? Manny saluting his fans. Michael Buffer will have to make it official. The handsome one is standing by with all the official particulars. Again, Unofficially 120 108. Here's Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Venetian Macau, we go to the scorecards. Michael Pernick scores it 120 to 108. Lisa Jampa has it 119 to 109. And Manfred Kuchler scores it 118 to 110. All to the winner by unanimous decision. He's back. The fighting pride of the Philippines. Manny 